My mother died when I was 12 years old and my suffering was a lonely and isolated suffering. I got the opportunity to share my story. It was from that moment that I just really got a glimpse of what a world could look like if we were more open and we were more connected in our grief. was to build a community for kids who, like me, shared an experience of losing a parent or a sibling. I knew if we created the environment, they would create this world where grief was, was open. somebody unexpectedly, the grief is shocking, the loss is shocking, and then when you lay over that a death by suicide, there's an element of shame and hiding. We had no intention of telling anybody about what happened. Lorna's cause of death was published 11 and a half hours after she died over our strenuous objection. And she quickly became news around the world. And so people contacted us and they said, we are suffering. This is not new. It's gotten worse because of COVID, but this is not a new problem. And so we felt very called and obligated to not only use it as an opportunity to raise awareness for the needs to take care of the healthcare workforce, but to celebrate the life of an amazing individual. We all at some point experience grief and yet it's invisible. It is a lot of kids and most also don't understand the impact of grief on a child. And so a lot of our work is identifying those kids and bringing them to a safe space, a community where they together learn to understand and process their grief. At the beginning of the pandemic, we really had to pivot very quickly. We knew our families, in particular grieving families, would need services to continue. And so it really has changed the way we know we can reach people. learned in this process is that when the unspeakable happens to you and you speak about it, it gives others permission to speak too. The fact that it carries her name and it's looking out for her colleagues is just beautiful. We envision a world where seeking and obtaining mental health care is a sign of strength by the healthcare workforce. Grief is an incredible unifier if we choose to see it that way. It, it is a profound opportunity to connect with each other. At the beginning of every program, we have a welcome circle. We ask everyone to say just two things. One is their name, and the second is the name of the person who died. I don't know what I did as a kid, but I never talked about my brother, Jonathan. We never said his name, and now I say his name all the time. I think this is my sister's legacy. And it's interesting because I read somewhere that if somebody's name continues to be spoken, they're not gone.